Hello everyone, today we're looking at the Salawa Spring Stitch Plate. Uh, stitch Plate was invented as a belay device around the 1960s, 1970s, and the issue they had with the original Stitch Plate is it would lock against the carabiner when a climber fell or you were lowering. And so they added the spring, this would press against the carabiner, as I'll show you later, and it would allow you to uh, not lock out. Um, but yeah, it's a cool belay device. I've heard about them, I've seen them. My friend told me, uh, and I finally got my hands on one. Found the original instructions. So I'll post uh, an image of that. And then I'll put a link down below if you're really interested. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you some of the features of it and uh, play around with it. Okay, so you can see there's two different sizes. There's the nine millimeter and then the 11 millimeter. Um, the spring. Now there's a little block there that you could engage and it would just kind of compact the spring a little bit so it wouldn't get caught in uh, twigs or branches or slings when you're walking by. Um, so you would load it the same way. So one thing that I noticed and my buddy told me is it has a second hole here. and You can actually tie a string and tie that around the carabiner here. And the reason I, you'd want to do that is as you feed up, this will slide up a little bit. So I've tied a piece of paracord on here, and you can kind of see now, that's as far as it could go. Uh, the paracord would catch, and I don't know the exact length that you would want this cord. Um, maybe a little bit shorter than this. And then I guess you could you know, carry it on your harness by this cord as well. So there you can see the spring is engaged. It's not locked. The stitch plate is not locked against the carabiner. It allows me to lower the climber if I needed to, or if they were lead climbing, it allow me to give them more uh, slack right away. Okay, so I flipped it over, and this is not how you'd want to use it, but to demonstrate what the original stitch plate was like without the spring, um, so you can see it's locked out. Let's say the climber took a fall. This thing is locked against the carabiner. It's kind of tricky to give slack. And we only have a 25 pound weight. Imagine if that was a lot heavier. You know, it's, it's not too easy to give slack like it was in the other position. You can see it kind of gives and then it locks back up. With the spring flipped over, uh, that became a lot easier. So again, I have it flipped over just to kind of demonstrate. But the climber's taken a fall. You can see the stitch plate is against the carabiner. And now to give slack, it's not working, right? I can't pull any slack unless I kind of jerk it. Um, now once it's once it's kind of up and it's free, then I can give slack again. But if the climber falls and now I gotta give slack, it's not happening. It's uh, I kinda gotta jerk it and it's not easy. All right, so now I have it flipped back the right way. This is how you would use it. And you can see giving slack, lowering, uh, with the spring engaged, it becomes a lot easier. Climber takes a fall. You can see the spring engages and now we can feed pretty easily again. What are we doing from here? Um, I guess if you want to hang. Yeah, let me get a little more height. All right, we're gonna hang when you're ready. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so you can see. Yeah, so it's not gonna lock like that. Then if I lower you, you can see the spring's keeping it from locking up. Yeah, you're going quick right there. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to weight it. Alright. Wow, that actually lowers a lot faster on this mode. Gotcha. And then give me slack. Alright, take up what you want and then let me know when to hold. Alright, hold. Okay. Sweet. Um, 
I'll lower down, we'll flip it over. So maybe that is the bait it is to have. All right, so there it is, the spring stitch plate. Um, this belay device was, you know, in its time, the best thing out there compared to a stitch plate, uh, stitch plate or I guess a figure eight or a body belay, really. Um, you know, the, the spring definitely helped from it locking against the carabiner like I showed you, or at least tried to show you. And then that was replaced with the pyramid uh, belay device shown here. And then, you know, you got into the ATC, and now we got um, Grigory's and all these different fancy belay devices, uh, the Trango Virgo, and you know some of these other ones out there. Um, they all serve the same purpose, but it was cool to go back in time and see what the OG was, the original. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Oh.